What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion about documentation in Revit MEP. Okay? So this time around, after learning how to duplicate our plan views and create a dependent views, so this time, we are going to create a plumbing isometric riser for our domestic, cold and hot water, and then for our sanitary uh, waste uh, pipes or sanitary waste view okay 3d view okay so let's do this one so what i'm gonna do is here on my plumbing design 3d views our current view i'm going to duplicate this one so i'm going to right click and then i'll select duplicate i do not want to include the annotation so i'm just going to select duplicate and then after that we are going to change the name right so just right click rename Okay, so I'm going to call this uh, isometric, oops, isometric plumbing for domestic. Then enter. Okay, then after that, let's apply a view template for this one. Okay, so to apply a view template, so I'm just going to go to the properties. I move the slider down and then look for view template. Where are you? There you go. So select that one and then we're going to apply the plumbing isometric here. And then just select OK to apply that template to our view. There you go. Okay. Now, um... So that we are not going to accidentally orbit our model here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock the 3D view. Okay. The view cube. So to do that, you just need to click this icon here below. Just click that one and then save orientation and lock the view. Just click that and it's now already locked. So if you click the view cube here, you will not be able to click that or you cannot use your orbit right because our 3d view is now locked so that you will not uh, accidentally orbit or change the angle of your 3d view right okay so next the next thing that we are gonna do is oops I think I have duplicated already a while ago but anyway I'll just delete my other duplicate here I don't need to 3d views for my domestic okay so after we duplicate and lock the 3d view the next thing that we are gonna do is let me just hide first my sanitary pipes okay so to do that you just hover your pointer to one pipe press tab one two three so it now highlights all the sanitary pipes and then you click that to select and then right click the pipe hide in view elements there you go so it's now hidden now this is our cold water so this pipe if you want to know what's that system just select that and then go to properties and then you will see here what's that system so that's our cold uh, cold water pipe so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click outside to deselect the pipe and then hover my pointer to the pipe press tab again one two and then it will highlight the pipe network up to a piece of equipment just click that one and then i'm going to right click that pipe after to select this series of pipes right click and then there is this override graphics in view okay so we are going to select that and then click by element just click that one go to the projection lines let's change the pattern so let's say I want that to be dash click dash so let's say the line weight I want that to be number three if you want to change the color it's up to you okay for example I want that to be blue that's my cold water so select OK and then OK then just click outside and there you go okay so we're gonna modify also the hot water so just hover your pointer to that pipe press tab tab again tab again 
until it highlights all the cold water or until it highlights all the hot water pipe and then just click right click override graphics in view by element and then let's change the projection lines again click that pattern let's change that to let's say dash dot 316 of an inch uh, color let's say that's my hot water that's my red color and then weight is three as well then select okay then click outside there you go so that's it okay so we just created our uh, isometric for the domestic okay so let's try to do that oh by the way let's put a uh, text here annotation so select select the text using no leader option then this will gonna be our water water closet one you can use your arrow on the keyboard to move that text thanks copy that that's our Texas. Okay, then this will gonna be our urinal number one or whatever name that you want there. So this will gonna be my S1 or sink one. This will gonna be S S2. Okay, this will gonna be my S3. Okay, again just just tidy up your drawing. Okay, just move that uh, text near the element and there you go so we just created our domestic and let's try to do it as well on our uh sanitary okay sanitary waste so just duplicate this view let's duplicate that one uh duplicate duplicate and let's change the name here so right click rename so this will gonna be my uh sanitary waste enter okay and then um we are going to hide the domestic cold and hot water pipe so hover pointer tab tab until it highlights all the pipe for the cold click right click hide in view elements okay so same with this hot water here so hover pointer tab 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 and then click right click hide in view elements now the problem is we don't have the sanitary the sanitary pipes because we hide that so for us to be able to show it so we are going to use this tool reveal hidden elements just click that one and then it will now reveal here all the elements that is currently hidden in your view okay so one of them are the sanitary pipes okay so to unhide the sanitary pipes we need to select it first so hover your pointer to one of the sanitary pipe and then press tab tab again tab again there you go so this is now our sanitary pipes just click that to select and then there's an option here unhide element so just select that one and then just close it the, the reveal hidden elements mode just cancel that one and there you go okay so there's now our pipes and that's it so if you want to change the color so you can do that if you want to change the line type you can do that and then you can also put here your name so same procedure that we did on our domestic okay so that's for your exercise so you can continue that by if you want you can change the line type the line weight the color and then you can also put some annotation okay but basically that's how you create your uh plumbing isometric riser okay so in this exercise we have learned how to create our domestic and our sanitary okay. oh by the way if you want to see the thickness of your pipe you can turn off the thin lines just click that to turn off and now it's showing there so same with this view here so i'm going oh you can see that it's now showing the line uh, line weight of your uh, pipes okay so that's it for this exercise thank you for watching guys have a nice day